Welcome. Welcome. We might be a bit on the uh, quiet side for the start of this very short form sketch, but that's because a script is involved. Is that right, Ian? Yes, this unscripted scene contains a script. Becky. This is a game called Actor's Nightmare. Ah, it's a nightmare. I, so he, or he, is an actor. So this is a little exercise for an improviser to see how you can justify and turn into co a coherent piece when one of you reads from a script and one of you does not. Would you like to uh, just get started? Shall we, Ian? Yes, let's. Okay, and here we go. Three, two, one. Please remember where we are. I mean, how could I forget where we are? You tell me all the time, dear. I don't care. Let them think what they like. I mean, I've never really been one for caring too much about what people think. But in this situation, I'm starting to actually get a little concerned. He's dead. Do you understand me? Albert's dead. What? Yeah, I mean, this is a museum. It's mostly full of dead people. So I was kind of expecting all the people that we're seeing to not be the real people. They're just waxworks. You mean Myrtle? She means nothing to me. Nothing! She's all cocoa and blue nylon fur slippers. Not a spark of creative genius in her whole slumpy knee-length knickered body. I mean, to be fair, I don't think she's one of the waxworks. I think she's just one of the cleaners. I think I saw her move. You're a cad, Simon. You will use me and cast me aside as you have cast aside so many others. I mean, okay, Myrtle, she caught my attention. She was there, dusting away in the corner, and she cocked the leg, and I maybe looked at her stockings just once. But, I mean, they were beautiful stockings. I mean, look at them. You're ruthless, so strong, so cruel. I mean, I am ruthless because... I dumped Ruth so that I could get with you, and but I married you, so who cares about Ruth anymore? And forget about Myrtle. Stop. Can't you see you're making a fool of yourself? Oh, I mean, you said I could wear what I wanted when we left the house, and I've seen you wear that tutu like loads, and I thought maybe I could pull it off. Uh, maybe not. Yes, you'd better. And scene! <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? We don't know. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what was, the, what was the script you were reading? Oh, well, I've closed the book now. Maybe we'll never know. Oh, oh. it's a play called... Uh, it's many different plays in one. And this is... Oh, this is... Uh, this is called... The Real Inspector Hound. Ah, it's The Real Inspector Hound. Interesting. Yeah, it's a comedy as well. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks for playing with me. Thanks for playing with oh, us. It was a joy. It was a real pleasure. Really? I'm going to go back to go and uh, check out Myrtle, see what she's up to. Mm. I caught my eye. Hey, mm. Myrtle. <laughs> okay. And recording ends now. Bye, everyone. Bye.